What's going on guys, it's your boy Terry by Reacts here and we are back with another episode of Ping Pong, the animation. So far, so good. This um, anime is, it's not your usual cup of tea, but it goes down smooth. I don't know why did I just say that. Anyways, <laughs> um... I like the, the the that this anime doesn't necessarily concentrate on animation per se. And you know what I'm saying? Like the graphics is not your usual stuff that you would see today. You know what I mean? Um, it's very cartoony, but the flow is so good. You know what I mean? Like the flow is really good. So I, I like it very much. So... Um, I've talked about the the um, the animation and the graphics on how it looks um, in my last reactions. You know, I talked about it, but for this one, I'm gonna try to do both episodes. I know I'm uploading two episodes, but I the way how I'm doing it is I have to do one and then the second one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do. The first one, the second one, I know it was kind of came off a little bit weird, but I didn't explain it. Is that I went to watch another episode and then I did my review after I watched the second one. So that's why on the second one, there was no intro. Um, there was no intro for it. And then the, re the review was right after. So if you're watching and, and you're used to my regular format, you know that's not how I do things. But because this one going to be on youtube and also the full um reactions are still going to be there in um link in the description um so you know it's a preference whatever you guys however you guys want to view it whether you want to go watch the full reaction or you want to just watch the you know the highlights on youtube i'm uploading pretty much the the whole episode really because i'm not cutting out that much it's more of like those really empty parts that you know you know um that doesn't really carry the story long even though this this um this story that they're telling is pretty much it's very intriguing you know about hard work and actually you know you know knocking someone down that that has talent that just believe they can just rely on their talent and stuff like that so those are the elements so far that i've noticed um Hopefully the coach is okay after episode two. It was pretty cool, man. So I'm yet to see, you know, the, the story that I think they're going for is I think there's going to be a competition um, that's that's going to come up, the Inter High, and he's preparing our guy, Mr. Smile, to get into that competition. He's a chopper. And he, he you know what I'm saying? He goes robot mode. He's, it's on. So he's kind of like trying to get him to to care, you know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't really care. He just wants to pass through life, and he's really talented. He's really talented, and the coach is trying to, you know, pull that out of him, um, and to not let it, let him, you know, allow others to beat upon him. You know what I'm saying? You guys know how much I love that line that he says: "There are views that you can only see from the top," which is very true it's a very simple line but it's a very complicated line at the same time it's, you know what i mean so very nice line there they put in the anime i like it very much um um doesn't mean that even if you're talented doesn't mean that you should waste it you know what i'm saying work hard at it still keep it up kind of reminds me of the fight between takamura and the last fight that was in Ippo before you know it ended um, with Takamura, is basically just hard work versus um, hard work. They're both talented, but they worked hard at their craft, perfected it, um, and it turned out to be one of the best fights in in Ippo, in my opinion. So when it comes on to this, it's kind of like the same thing. So I want to see how they progress and things. How better is he gonna get? Is he gonna go up against Kong? Right? Is he gonna go up against Kong? from china which is he's on another level because he perfect his craft he works hard he's talented but he's perfected his craft right 
So, we're going to see how that turns out, man. We're going to jump into episode 3 and 4 today. So, if you see the second video and you see that it starts off without an intro, you will understand now why that is. Okay? So, thank you guys for listening as always. Um, and I will see you guys for the review right after we watch these reactions. So, let's get into it. ジンの見舞いに来てくれたのね。嬉しいわ。ユニクツですって。あなたも変な老人に追いかけ回されて大変ね。ええ、大変迷惑しています。あなた本当可愛げのない子ね。すみません。素敵よとても。また来て頂戴ね。また来ます。待ってるわ。可愛らしい子ね。目元が涼しげ
復帰どころか日本にとどまることすら困難だそれは選手生命の終わりを意味する私はね月本君君のプレーが嫌いだ確かに技術は素晴らしいだが相手の心情を考慮して打つ君の卓球は実に醜い君にはラケットを握る資格などない、really? 私は剣をするそうはっきり言われるとさすがに不愉快ですカズボさんそろそろおう今行く<笑>あんかい<笑>マッチトゥーコン選手くそなんか帰りたくなっちゃった10分キャ持てなかったよ村田あれだ大丈夫ですよ先生絶対勝ちます注文があれば言ってください5点2点スコンクなんだってねえそうだコンが10分で倒したんだ僕は5分で片付けよう何かあったのかね勝ちたいだけですよ先生いけませんかいや大変よいはい知らねえな一丁前に勝ったものかよろしくなこちらこそ何しろこれが最後三度目の正直一年坊やには負けねえよ。Going up against the worst first year, bro. 全国。カットマンならとりあえずフォアにショート入れて様子見か。リターン甘く来たらバックに三球目攻撃。その後はえっとその時考えよう。ラブワンこいつ速攻。あの野郎前でさばく気が。想保存实力。好强的自信呢。挑発，哪没通过卡？一一切切了呢，得突突的切没起码好了的。嘎，本当悲しくなっちゃうよ。本でもラバーは速攻用じゃねえし、次は普通に。ラブツー。ダメだこりゃ。うん、胜负已分了。リターンでノータッチかよ。卓球ではないな。現実はいつだって。先生、今テーブルテレスです。ラッキーボーイ、俺にはよく続いたよ。ネクラにコツコツ三年間。海に行くか。それも悪くね。マッチトゥー、スキモト選手。あ、なんだたぬきだ。あんなすげえ速攻隠し持ってやがった。雑な速攻だな。気晴らしです。別の方法はないのかね。暇つぶしの卓球。気晴らしの速攻です。卓球に人生かけるなんてナンセンス。理解に苦しむ。君が悪い。<笑>これで勝負してこい。これ、つぶだかじゃないですか。張り替えておいたよ。まだ無理ですよ、これ。なら試せ。こんですよ。不足かね。イエス。好久没试过了，有点紧张，像平常一样放松点。挺不错的，这种感觉。月本とコンが打ちますよ、風間さん。うん。一つ聞いてよろしいでしょうか。うん。月本のこと、ずいぶん気にしておられますが、なぜ。うん。そのあたり少し複雑でな。何しろ才能とは求める人間のみに与えられるものではないのでな。True。Very true。Going at it though. Oh,要怪就怪你周围的环境，没对手，没教练，没压力，在这个温室般的环境里，你只能废掉，就像被扔在河边的自行车一样。我不一样，我还有等我回去的地方，一个令我满足的国家。Porto， 
ゲームトゥーコン選手ファイブセブン。I do get it warmed up on that end. Let's go. You don't control poor Dana Wongo. I'm not sure. I'm すぐ自分の殻に閉じこもるのねミスターチキモト。How many sets are there? Is it three out of five? That's three out of five? Or is it? Oh, it's not a lot. 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 Is he gonna destroy him or is he gonna feel sorry for him? ついた弾返すんだやれやれ例のチャイナ結局勝つみたいなんか防戦一方になりましたね一年の子ですね可愛かったよね一年の子わかるそれ体力差でしょう要するにマッチトゥーコン選手海へ I think I think something happened there. I think some something happened, uh, because of all that. I think maybe it broke his concentration, or maybe he felt sorry for him because of what the coach said. Because you know how Sukimoto is. Like he's the type of person like this. Like you know, if it means more to the other person. And that's why、um, I think it was what's his name, Kazuma, the guy that was talking to him in 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 the stands before is like I can't stand people like you because you're talented but you feel for your opponent too much. So I think that's what happened when the, when because he didn't know all that information about Kong, he didn't know that he was trying to get back、um, to China,、um, you know that he's here to basically prove. That he's, you know, that proved that he's good enough to come back to the national team. So, him hearing that, I think he let up his, you know, his dominance to let Kong win and continue because he don't want to crush nobody's dreams, which is, it's not good for him. It's not good for him because I believe that if you're talent, you can't feel sorry for people. Nah, let him work harder and harder. To be on your level, nah, yeah. Let him work even harder now to get to your level 
beat you, then he can go back. You know you better than him. Come on now. All right, we're going to go to episode two.